Okay, uh, let's install Ignish and on Raspberry Pi. Uh, first you need to download self-ignition, so you can go to inductiveautomation.com download and here is last version, is stable version 15 and for Raspberry Raspberry we will need to download that one. his file so I have al already that downloaded and uh, unzipping and also that version doesn't have uh, MQTT pre-installed so we will need uh, that MQTT distribution model what is exactly MQTT server and MQTT engine model at what ignition client for connecting to uh, MQTT so here is I have already downloaded and I just uh, move it uh, that to Raspberry we I use win SCP what you can do too and SSH to Raspberry you can see it that ignition folder is here I wanna move them to opt folder folder is here first before start we need to uh, do some rights change here for sh files We will do that. We can see it like a uh, commands what is available for ignition. For do the automatically server automatically restart with every uh, Raspberry reboot, we should just uh, do install that will set up the system D service. Uh, what will start after rebooting system but for do install and start gateway right now we should apply that one install and start so for setup systemd series we will need sudo and it's look like that Gateway started. If you will try connect directly, you cannot connect to browser uh, to web server because uh, default port is eight zero zero, and here you can just uh, keep it. Uh, install process <coughs> here's ignition age what is like a limited version of ignition for network edge devices and full version ignition uh, what will work only for two hours and after you will should click restart button uh, another way he will stop sending uh, update tags and show projects uh, up to you will pay for full version uh, here is we will choose maker edition what is free to use not commercial use yeah so here we uh, agree with license and we will need a license key so 
if you're going to induct your automation web page and to your account it's set up just very easy uh, you need a just email and you will receive email uh, for confirm and after you will have access to your account and you can have up to three license I have one already and I will take another one it's very easy and fast too so here is my license key and activation token let's take some time and we're ready to go so here we need a create user what we will use for admin on ignition uh, you can use any username and password I have some preset up here but and here we should choose port uh, where we will see gateway web page so default how it all it's 8088 you can do drop it that by to default 180 and 443 for HTTPS but I want to use this one and we'll start gateway let's take some time here so up to that one happen we can go and download MQTT distribution models how I told you will need a MQTT distribution and MQTT engine and also we will need database I want to use uh, open source database so that be uh, MariaDB it's installed very easy to on the same Raspberry time to same time we have a ignition installation done you can go into status page and here is username and password what we created you can use it and that's how ignition look now say it's a little bit different from that a full version but more colors more like <laughs> looks a little bit more fancy and just a, like a full industrial version so we can add it at models uh, MQTT well it's downloaded uh, we can go into config page uh, model page and here is install and upgrade model and we choose files I have that already downloaded MQTT distributor click install accept license and added the certificate and 
install client for MQTT. So both MQGT server and client is running, activated and running. So we can just go ahead and yeah, database is uh, installation done. Now we will do secure installation for his database. And here we need a password for uh, what we're using for Raspberry. And if you want to change that root password, you can change it. Should type that twice new password. And we delete all anonymous users and we'll disallow uh, login remotely because we have ignition and database on the same Raspberry Pi so that'd be locally we don't need a remote access to database and we delete test database and update privileges so that part is done. Now we will set up user for ignition and database for ignition. We have a server, but we should create database on that server. That will look like Login to database to database server, and we'll create database. I will call them ignition. And now need create user. password for that user. Forget a little bit. So now we create user and need a grant privileges.
now we can go to and connect database here is some config page databases connection we choose create new database connection uh, here is MariaDB click next we can just uh, name it wherever you like it and do some description and here is by default it's uh, connected to test database but we have a ignition database and here is username and password what we created them twice and create connection and it's here it's working so if you're going to status page you will see database one from one connected we have all PC server have no idea uh, how to use them uh, at home but you have it uh, now you can just install designer here is you can download for Mac for Linux Windows I have a Windows so designer is downloaded If you have a your Raspberry not show up here, like like that, no panic, no time for panic. <laughs> so click uh, Add Designer and Manual Add Designer, and you will need a, that link from your browser. And you see it's a valid host you can add it and you have that your server here so you can click launch And while we have no any projects here, you can start one. I'll go simple name, any name, what you like it. Only space not allowed, but you can use that. 
Uh, the full database. There it goes. We have it. You can use some templates if you want it. But that how designer looks uh, everything work and the next version we can I will show how to set up I have a four light switch just a Wi-Fi light switch I uh, build it on ESP8266 uh, and flash it, flash increase uh, open source test mode of firmware and we'll set up some rules for key slides for like a double click long holding and all that and we'll create some simple page for his light switches <laughs> 